Inferior is released a new accessory that is basically going to convert the T to S plus into a PCB electronics inspection um, thermal camera. It's going to be adding the same functions as basically the Quandi thermal cameras that is very overpriced with the same resolution and you can only use them for PCB inspection. Meantime, if you use this accessory, you can convert completely the T to S plus uh, into that kind of device and if you want just dismount it and use it for normal home inspection with your phone connected to it. It also includes a software which is a full anal analysis and post analysis software and also let's not forget you can get this and this and the T2S plus and this into a super budget price. At the end of the video I'm going to explain how to get the discount on all this package which is going to be much much cheaper than anywhere else you can get. Now let's see what's inside this box. The whole PCB inspection kit comes in a nice uh, box like this. Some of the functions. Now let's remove this. It's saying that it's suitable for the T2S Plus and T2L. Now let's Let's see, this is the bottom plate, it's metal, nice and good quality stuff, rubber pad in it, removing it, looks nice, anti-slippery, there is a, I think this is the main column, I guess, screws and everything is included, let's dig a little deeper, ah, nice, there, I'm going to find the rest. It's a USB-A to USB-C female uh, extension cable. I guess this is going to, well, we'll find out later. Phone holder part of the head. This is also triple mountable, so it can be separated from the main assembly. This is where the T2S Plus or T2L goes in this head. There's a little door in it, nice. What else is in the box? Um, nothing else. Now let's put this together. The installation looks simple enough. After putting it together, it's very strong. Unfortunately, there is no fine adjustment with, uh, with the knob. I thought this knob is too fine adjust, but yeah, still nice. For the phone holder part, screw it in this hole. Releasing this, and it can be adjusted in any angle. Position it to the most comfortable direction. This ring stabilizing the head. This screw, I don't know what is it serves. I guess this clump is if I want to put the phone holder head into somewhere else. I don't know, like a table leg or I don't know, anything else than here. If you're just joining now, there are great discounts I can provide for this type of cameras. I will explain in the end of this video how to, including the stand. the T2S Plus, the newly shipped T2S Pluses, I see they also include a Type-C female to micro USB male uh, adapter in case if you have old phones. Nice new crunchy and crispy. You have to place it, it slides in exactly in the slot where it's supposed to be. The USB-C port needs to be facing out in this notch here just closing it secure with the thumb screw and as you can see it's there facing downward and ready to look into any pcb inspection 
Now I'm going to download the related softwares and let's see how it works. So let's see how to use this on a Windows PC or Windows tablet like this. Uh, this is an old Microsoft Surface Pro 2 uh, with Windows 10. I'm going to use this old uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 5 uh, main board. This is fully functional. It doesn't have any fault, but we can observe the circuitry heating up during operation. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, a broken board that has a short circuit. Um, would be ideal somewhere in the most tiniest components to show the uh, abilities of the T2S Plus. But this will do is small enough for the test. Let's connect the T2S Plus. I'm going to streaming. Need to adjust the focus on the camera. And there you go. I'm going to connect the board to a power source. You can already observe that it's starting up. You can see different parts of the processor as it starts uh, powering up. Uh, you can see exactly which part of the processor is at the highest load because obviously it's heating up. It's quite interesting. The main advantage of a stand like this is that you don't have to use your hand. There is no shaky image. You can leave it exactly where it is and occasionally just move it. You can observe the board clearly. This is not the PC software that was included for free. This is the PC software of Rune Hansen. Um, it's a paid software because for some reason I was not able to make it work uh, on this tablet. The free software that can be downloaded from the X Infrared website. But probably if you do professional work, um, you would be going with a software that you have to pay a little, little extra and you get um, full, full professional features and more. Now I'm going to zoom a little closer. All you have to do is release this knob and it will slide down. You can take it down as far as you like. Just tie the knob and it's stable. Then adjust the focus. Excellent, beautiful. With a tiny components like this, you can see how big is it on the screen. You can imagine the amount of the level of magnification you can reach with this uh, tiny little cameras. Some of these SMDs are smaller than one millimeter. And on the screen, you can see them as gigantic houses in a city. And if you repair phones, um, and if any of these uh, SMDs are uh, shorted, you will see exactly which component is shorted. You will not have to guess like with a lower resolution camera would be or without macro where you have to see it only from far distance. Eventually you can find it, but this will save you time. Perfect. Way better than just using your hand. Now let's connect the phone version and see how it looks like. Mounting the phone is absolutely simple. And then just connect the camera. So now let's take a look at this. I'm going to turn on again, pointing on the processor of this board. So you can see as it powering up. Again, it's switching between the different department of the CPU. With this slider, you can also pinpoint just to see the hottest part, as you can see as the hotter territory moves.
You can change the color palette. Even though this camera is only 256 by 192 resolution, you can still see tremendous amount of details, leaving far behind any FLIR camera on the market or any other USB Type-C camera on the market. And this is the lowest cost, this is the budget segment. You can imagine what the higher resolution models can do. And of course, like this, the freedom of your hands, you can move it wherever you want. Uh, without the camera shaking, you can observe anything you are repairing, you can observe real time, you can work, you have two hands to remove the uh, damaged SMD real time, basically. Looking at the SMD with the thermal camera, meantime, you are taking a tweezer and a solder and just you can remove the little pieces without problem, immediately seeing which component is damaged. As you can see, it's incredibly detailed. This has no normal visible light camera enhancement, it's pure thermal image. As you can see, the software is also quite accurate in measuring body temperature, for example. This has a plus minus 2 Celsius accuracy, the T2S Plus, for example. And as you can see, it does comply approximately. That's the temperature that you can read on a human skin on a finger, for example. You will not measure exactly uh, 36 uh, degree on a finger, for example. It's always colder than the rest of the body, but appears to me very accurate. The surface of the kit is very, very comfortable to work with. Not scratching, not damaging as you're pushing, pulling the um, metallic parts of the boards, for example, on it. Very resistant, very thick rubber, um, not slippery. So your subject will stay where you leave it, for example. And without being afraid that uh, a metallic part here on the surface will short the and damaging further your subject of, of repair. It's a very nice kit. Even until now, during the making of this video, I was unable to figure out what is this accessories for, including this uh, fly bolts and these two other screws that has no visible space to put. If you know that by any chance, write it down in the comment section. I'm very curious to hear about your opinion. Overall, this is a very cool and very useful kit. Love the way, how strongly and uh, well it was built. It's very stable. No wobbling of the pole itself that holds the uh, camera arm. It has very good feel for the touch, good, good to work with this. I think it would make uh, anyone's work much more easier. It gives you a similar appearance as the Kwan Ni uh, type of cameras, but those cameras are only going to stay in this position. You can never just remove them put the camera into your pocket and take it somewhere else and do home inspection or anything else with your camera, which is absolutely mobile and removable. So this is a much more efficient solution like this and also cost much less than, for example, buying a Kwan Lee type of camera. That brand is a little over exaggerated in price. While there exist solutions like this, this that makes your life uh, much more fun and much more easier easy to install, easy to assemble, it's worth every penny. And of course, here comes the channel discount. So everything in a big pack, the PCB inspection board, the T2S Plus or T2L camera, the holder handle uh, grip with the laser itself. In this box, you have the laser. All this pack, you can get in an incredibly low price. It's so low that you have to ask me in private message. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel Visit my Discord channel, the invite link is in the description, and there ask me in a private message about the prices and availabilities of any of the models, and I can answer you and I can sort you out. Now there is two ways I can get you the discount with, it's with AliExpress or with Amazon. The Infiray store itself from Amazon doesn't ship to every country, so in case if it doesn't, it will definitely be able to use the AliExpress method. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it would help the channel out to bring you more uh, and more reviews and discounts for every model of Infiray and other gadgets as well, of course. So see you in the next one.